Slender Man, from what I know, is uh, I guess a guy that was going around killing children. Ah, Slender Man, real? I don't know. Some people have reported seeing him before. You see him in alleys, framed in windows and doors. You see him over people's shoulders. What got people talking about the Victor Surge photos was this kernel, this sort of seed that, uh, what's going on here? We know that Slender Man abducts people, but we have no idea what he does with them after that. It's just taking all those kind of tropes that terrify people. Tall person, pale skin, tentacles, maybe a suit. And when it comes all together, it's just immensely creepy. You have a wide range of people taking part in this. You had those initial web series, uh, the Marble Hornets, for instance. Alex, Alex, no, this isn't going to fix anything. It's never going to stop. You have college-age students uh, doing a lot of storytelling then. With the onset of the video games, you saw the audience become much younger. so dark. Come on, where are you? I haven't even seen him, but I already don't like him. Oh, God! What the f Every year, every month almost, sees someone with a new take on what he might be or, or uh, uh, what he might be up to. I think people think that he's real because they're easily influenced by anything they see on the internet. We check under our beds for the Slender Man, but he's, you know, not actually there. He is the thing that we fear that we don't actually encounter. Again this week, shocking parents across the world. Why would two girls brutally stab their friend 19 times? They wanted to kill the victim, so people would know that Slender Man was real. Now, the two young suspects, in their own voices, tell why they savagely attacked their best friend. The questions, are they competent to stand trial? Will they be charged as adults? You first met the brave girl who survived the unthinkable with David Muir. And now David is again right there with a spellbinding breaking new 2020 tonight at 10, 9 central on ABC.